improv, so I want you to really welcome Matt Thornton. Man, I am too old for that kind of music. I like, I like, like mellow stuff because I'm like old now, like 40 something. And that stings. I don't like 40 something. But you guys are a good looking crowd. You know, I've been around a little bit, I've not seen a crowd this good looking. And I'm a good judge of that because I'm a typical guy. <laughs> I only see inner beauty. <laughs> Serious. So, yeah, like I said, I'm 40-something. I don't like the sound of that. Like, 30-something was cool, because when I was 30-something, there was a TV show called 30-something. So I was like, hip. You know, do they even say hip anymore? Hello, people. <laughs> so it was cool, because I thought, well, if that many people across the country are turning into one show called 30-something, then they like 30-something-year-old people. But 40-something, you don't see 40-something. Because, I mean, what's that going to be like? Hey, Fred, where are you at? Well, I'm in the toilet teabagging. What do you want? <laughs> you know, what time's dinner? You know, boring. I'll tell you, there's a lot of things I miss and missed out on. Like, I'm never going to have a cougar now. <laughs> what would she be like, late 90s, early dust? <laughs> so, that will not happen. Huh, another thing I had to get rid of. When you're 40 something, you know what I miss? Like when you were a kid, remember your parents used to mark how tall against the door you were getting? Well, those days are gone, so I'm not growing. So now I gotta mark how low the boys are getting. <laughs> that's what you have to look forward to. With that discovery, out went the boxers. There are no boxers in my house. Those are gone. You cannot function in boxers. Boxers will make you grumpy. They will, that old guy, I was turned into him, the old guy in your street, all the kids to get off the lawn. I was turning into that guy because I'd see kids outside and I didn't mean to. And they're out there having fun and playing. I thought, wow, how cool is that? I was a kid once, man, taught out. Maybe I'll see if they want, I don't know, sprinklers on or something. I'll say hi, welcome to the neighborhood and all that good junk. But I like transformed between the couch and the front door to go say good things. And it, it kind of goes, you know, you just you like evolve into something else and it's kind of like. So feel sorry for that guy if you ever meet him and tell him, don't wear boxers. <laughs> I thought it was weird because I saw an old lady walking down the street. She was all hunched over like I used to be when I wore boxers, but it doesn't matter if she wears boxers. And I thought, you know, when I was done making fun of her, I said, you know, what's, what's wrong with you? I mean, why do you look like that? And she said, well, now that I'm older, my breasts have fallen, and it's like tube socks with 10 pounds of sand in them. <laughs> and I thought, ew. <laughs> that was my cougar. <laughs> and then it was strange that I saw a really old man, like late 70s, and he's walking like that, and he doesn't have any breath, so what's he doing? I'm like, and, and then it hit me. I'm like, are you serious? Nobody had the goodwill to say to this old guy, hey, you know, boxers should have went away when you were 40-something. Because this guy walking down the street, I swear, was something very similar to this. and that makes it feel better. <laughs> All right. There's a lot of things I miss, like dating life. Dating life is completely gone in your 40s. Some of y'all are older, older than 40 and you're like getting all pissed off. Like, shut up already, man. What's the next guy coming in? <laughs> but your dating life completely stops. I have not had a date and I don't even know how long. Like, ever since I got married, it just, bam. <laughs> There's like nothing. There's a lot of stuff I missed out on. And what I miss most, most of all, more than anything, makes me sad. You can feel sad with me. I couldn't put in words. And I don't want to cry. You're like, what a fag. <laughs> so I wrote a song about this. And, and I just, be with me on this. And I think you're going to find it's beautiful. <laughs> I'd like ghetto style this, because it didn't have the little in there. So if any of y'all know what you're doing with a guitar, hit me up after the show. So this is by Matt Thornton. What I miss most now that I'm older and married. <laughs> Thank you.
guys, I miss you, and I love you. I'll see you all later. Thanks a lot.